What's happening, y'all? Today, I'm out here with my buddy Andrew, right That's here, nice. and beautiful, beautiful morning. Kind of talking a little quiet right now because we are rolling up uh, into just, I don't know, just, oh my gosh, this is just absolutely beautiful. I have an awesome sunrise. We're rolling up into our fishing spot right here. We're just fishing some grass flats today. Target species is, of course, redfish and hopefully maybe even some trout. Um, maybe some big trout. But we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna start off the morning right, maybe throw some top water, and that's it, y'all. There's really nothing else to say other than I just wanna stop talking and show y'all. This is just absolutely beautiful, and it's time to catch some fish. I hate it when, like, your tackle box, or this these things get, like, just a little water in them. And then, like, all your hooks, you know, get, like, rusted and stuff, you know? All right, y'all. Started off with a little topwater action. It's the only way to start the day. Coffee and topwater. Oh, son! Right on the grass. Yeah, Here put it me here. up. Oh. Oh, hold on. I think it was just bait popping. Well, it did get blown up. Look at that ray. Look at that ray. Two of them. There we go. Son. That's a, that's a trout. That's a trout. There you go. Get this net. Always when you need the net is when it's like hardest to grab. There's probably, there's gotta be more. There's gonna be more. That's a good sign. Yeah. yeah, that's a great sign. Yeah. Nice. That's right. perfect eating. It starts the day right there. Nail too. Oh yeah. He's doing drumming. You want to keep fish there? I'll give them back to the gods today. <laughs> <laughs> it's always good to start the first one off. It's just good fish karma, you know. Dude, oh, the sunrise is just sick. A lot of life and trout. That's good. Now the guy was just out. There we go. Little one. First fish on top water. There you go. <laughs> like he's just. <laughs> he's like, all right, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Let's get this over with. All right, come on. Not a bad one, but not an 18. That's a nice one. It is. All right, people. First trout from me, 18 incher on the stringer. You have to, man. It's like when you, if you have like a beautiful sunrise, like, and you're out, like, with low light, cloudy, like, yeah, the fish gods are like, you have to throw top water. <laughs> oh, that's not bait. That feels that like a drum. You can hear it like. Oh, he broke me off. Let's see if I can keep working. Nah, he. Yeah, he off. yeah pulled that's off. A, that's only. Oh, he hit again. Son. Work it faster. They're always are. They're always are the misses. Oh. Oh, he's still after it. Where's that bait? Yeah. That. That's something like every drum that I've caught is like more of like a slurp. Yeah, Dude, there's so much more back in there. It's like top water on bass fishing. Yeah. The, the big ones is just like a clown. Yes, slurp. you're right. And now you're like, oh, that's a big fish. It's yep. the ones that make a ton of noise and come to slap at it that are generally the smaller ones. Oh my gosh, that was a giant. That was a giant. Hey, it's that 10%. We're not, we're not out of our... Go back and get them. All right. Come on, man. Please do it again. Dude. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there it is. That one's nice. That's right. There we go. Yes, sir. Dang it, dude. That one before, though. That just. Yeah. 
Right oh, there. dang. All right, people, second second fish for me on top. Third one on the boat. Let's see. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's thick. Um, I'll boat flip him. Get in here. Oh, yeah. Looks like a whole school of uh, 18s, huh? Yeah. That's perfect. This is like the, like, I like the schools that are, you know, if it was like a school of 12s to 14s, 15s, mm -hmm. you know, then it's like, but these are the schools, these are the size schools where it's like, there could be a 25 in oh, here. Yeah, you know what I mean? All right, people, there it is. Second speckled trout, sunrise trout. These are solid, solid fish. These are like all 18, 19 inches. I just had a giant blow up on top, but I was just telling Andrew that, you know, like this class of trout right here, this is like, if you're searching for the giant, this is like the perfect class of trout because I say like, if we're catching like 12s, 13s, 14s, 15s, and squeezing out like maybe like a 16 or 17 inch trout, it's typically not gonna have like your trophy trout in the mix. But these ones, like the 18s and 19s, that's all we're catching, there could very well be a big old trout in the mix for sure. But look at that beautiful sunrise. Top water action. Doesn't get much better than this. I'll tell y'all what. Dude, this is, I'm gonna show you something that takes skill right here. Ready? Here we go. Working in top water. <laughs> All right, people, so we checked off the top water. Now, switching it up. MR27 probably my favorite subsurface right now. Dang. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, it's a drum. Look, look. He's still waking on it. He's still waking on it. He's still waking on it. There we go. That's a drum. That's a real one. There we go. That's a drum. All right, let me put the sinker down. All right, that's a nice one. By a school of them. Dang, that's a good one. Big one. All right, people, we are on a nice drum. I mean, if this thing's a trout, it's gonna be a giant, but I'm pretty sure it's a drum. It's a nice one. This thing is like, this guy's heavy. Oh, yeah, nice uh, is it a trout? No. It's a drum. That's a drum. <laughs> Scared me for a second. Dang. Nice one, though. Yeah, right? Side. Come over here. No, don't go over there. <laughs> oh, dang it. I think he's in the anchor of the. Hold on. Here we go. He was. Come here, little red trail. Here, I'll bring him right in. Here he comes. That one. Oh, nice. That's, That's a beautiful right. puppy drum. Yes, it is. All right, y'all, there it is. Nice size redfish. Can't even get him into the frame, but this guy's absolutely beautiful. Andrew and I were taking bets, and uh, I think he's about 24 inches was we measured him out to be. So he's got one, two, three, four, four spots on each side. I love that like broom tail. Mm -hmm. All that little bluish to it. That's yeah, nice. look how big so that pretty. tail is though. It's awesome.
great fish. Sweet. All right, this guy's going on the stringer. Whew. Uh, dude, that's a drum. That's a drum. That's a good one. Woo! Hello. Hello. Right where he should have been. All right, people. On second fish. Dang, that's a good size fish right there. Rolling on top. That's a drum. That's what Andrew and I were just talking about. These these puppy drum, man, they just fight so good. Like, this big bull drum, they have like a good run and then they just kind of like turn on their side. These puppy drum, they just do not give up. Dang. Another decent one. Whew. Dude, cast back in Ooh. there. Oh, yeah. Sweet. There it is, people. Whew. Second quality redfish right there. All right, you're going on the stringer, buddy. Oh, we're getting a little drizzle action. All right, people. So, got a nice little stringer going on right here. Two reds, two trout. What's up, y'all? Here we are, back in the kitchen, and y'all, that was an awesome day catching redfish. Fortunately, we kind of got rained out, but here it is, people. This right here, beautiful redfish filet. And we caught these like mid to almost like upper slot reds. Got some nice thick steaks on these. Y'all, there's only one way to do this redfish catch and cook. And that's going to be redfish on the half shell. It's super, super easy. I know I say that about all of our recipes. This is probably the easiest recipe known to man. And check this out. So here it is. All right, people, check this out. This is how easy this recipe is. Take your redfish filet with the skin on. Take your pan, aluminum foil, Spray some cooking spray up on there. Put it on there just like that. Do some pepper. Watch this, y'all. I'm just gonna show you. I'm just gonna hold the camera. This is how easy this is. Take some garlic, garlic salt. Put a healthy amount on there. Garlic salt makes everything taste amazing. Take some breadcrumbs. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit of breadcrumbs on here. That's a lot, let's spread that out. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Just a nice layer of some breadcrumbs. Christy and I are moving by the way, so I apologize. My kitchen is an absolute mess because right now we are living in boxes. Yep, because Christy and I, we're moving. And then, uh, all right, so then we're gonna take some cilantro. It's really hard to open while holding a camera. Last thing, take some extra, just take some olive oil and put that up on our fish. Oh yeah. Get that money shot. Money! Look at that. Oh, it's so good. Redfish on the half shell. Super easy. But this is like the best way to do it. All right, stick it in the oven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, here we go. Redfish on the half shell is done. And if it's done, if it's not done, it's gonna be done, but it is done. Look at that, people. That right there looks so good. This is like the best 10 minute dinner that I have ever made. 
on this channel. Look at that. Thick. Oh, Alright y'all, here it is. Redfish on the half shell. Woo! Oh, so good. Come on now. Amazing. There it is, people. That right there, that is the best 10 minute meal that you can make super easy. Redfish on the half shell. You guys, redfish, this meat just literally comes right off the skin. Super easy. Here, I'll show y'all. So you don't have to worry about it. And it preserves all that flavor. See that? Just comes right off the skin. Super easy. Mm. It is like mouth watering. All right, y'all. That's it. That's the easiest, best, quickest 10 minute catch and cook meal that you'll ever have in your life right there. So hope y'all enjoyed that. Big shout out to my friend Andrew. And uh, yeah, it was fun getting out there on the flats, catching these reds. I gotta finish packing and we are moving tomorrow. So, all right people, I'll catch y'all later. Peace out.